Okay, I am uploading part one. Now we can continue. Why are you looking down there? Half-eaten food items are sc scattered in this area. Woman, why are you looking this way? Is it because the corpse is here? Nothing. bathroom. This toilet has some rather disgusting stains. A horrible smell lingers. Oh no, someone didn't clean off the feces. Can I get a red herb? Nothing useful here. Alright, give me this. Take the prison map? Oh, yes. Okay. That's what we're currently at right now. It seems that someone didn't finish their soup. It's still a bit warm. Wow. Okay. No. Definitely don't want to be here. Let's read this. Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found... I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me, that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place, this boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight... 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 Mid midnight. Ugh. <clears throat> I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. <laughs> Name and Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Die. Huh? All right, there we go. You've filed the prisoner's diary. Yes. Is there anything else here? Nothing. They appear to be toiletries. They've all been used and are worn out.
Of course, a corpse. Gotta get them bullets. Oh no, Wes! Of course, the M100P. Not gonna use it just yet. I got all of them. Oh no. Honestly, being that, uh, I guess I've gotten all the items here, I might as well go. I'm not sticking around, uh, Waste any more bullets. Oh no, what could that be? Oh, growling. Can it be doggos? Abandoned materials are piled up here. That could be useful. Ah. Uh. Gosh, look at that guy's face. There's a big hole in the wire netting. There's a blood stain under the eaves. Locked from the other side with a padlock. It can't be opened from this side. For now, at least. Oh no. I can use my knife here. It's open enough. There we go. It's completely nailed down. It's impossible to open it. Oh no. Oh! Ah! No! Oh, that was good. That was, uh, enough to heal me. It appears to be locked. I must release the lock first. Okay. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Of course. <laughs> Outside, there are monsters everywhere. Construction materials are piled up here. Nothing seems to be useful. Okay. The 
Let's look around and see what's here. An auto duplicator. If the materials are set, I can restore the object. The control panel, the 3D scanner. There is an activation switch. I got nothing. Okay, so I just open it up and then I have to place the object in there. User's Manual 3D Duplicator User's Manual Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D Scanner Portion This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be, will be, will be processed into 3D data which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed within complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Try not to mix up my words. My first... Uh... First aid spray. This spray fully restores your vitality. And I will never use any of them. What else is here? B.O.W. Gas Rounds! This early! <laughs> Flame Rounds? But I can't use them because I don't have a grenade launcher. It's a map, Tristan. A special bullet filled with napalm gel. These anti-BOW gas bullets are filled with gas. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, what's that sound? Fax on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form. form from form. Uh, there we go again. And add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner, or Steiner, I don't know. <laughs> I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow. Visil visitor uh, visitors named Carl Grisham. Purpose of entry. Carrying in the following materials. One, new product sample from Metal Industries Co. TG. Zero one. Two. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Note. One. We'll use a transportation truck. Two. TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. You've filed the facility and the facts. You know, I'm really starting to think I have, like, uh, what, what, what is it? I don't know what it's called. Something that's just like making me see words differently. Like, I, I read form as from rather than just... Oh my gosh. Chris Redfield. Steve! Steve! What are you doing here? 
Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Oh, no. God, warn him. I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? <laughs> Alright, wait a second. Ah, my beanie! I gotta fix my beanie. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's the thing. Take the hawk emblem. The email to Leon has already been sent. Darn it, Tristan. Check. Hawk emblem. An emblem carved with a hawk symbol. It appears to be made of pure gold. Pure gold, you say? Come on, I know I can pick that up. Look at that. It's 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 brightly colored and just Oh my gosh. Well, I mean there's an ink ribbon right here, but we can't exactly take it yet. The door is being held by something. I it can't be open from this side. All right. A lock release device. Pull the lever up. The shutter lock has been released. Okay. Seriously, can, can, I, can, I, can I please? Can I please? Alright, there's nothing else in this room. Okay. Moving on. the item in here. I'll be back to get the materials. Three D data transmission complete. Cool. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Of course. Wait. take everything right now, but, you know. Also, let me check to see. Okay, I'm going to end this right now. <laughs> 